Hello! We're gonna do our tutorial video for Battle Space Arena just to kind of show you the mechanics so that you as the audience know kind of what's happening when you're watching these videos. So uh, of course I'm gonna press the space bar and go to the, level, the, the character select menu and you're gonna see there's a, a quite a few characters here. We're not gonna be able to go over them all but I'm gonna give you a summary of what types of things to expect from these characters. Um, so essentially I'm gonna start off with, with Billy because he's uh, kind of has the first kind of set of moves that I want to show you. Um, so basically, Billy um, is, is he's actually from Pocket Battle Space Arena, the game that came before this, kind of when Quasi finished, but he looks way more cool. So I'm gonna go with this special level. It's kind of a hidden level. It's called the Test Room. It's for this purpose and this purpose only. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna first start here. I'm gonna show you the move, the base controls. So essentially, I press um, Z. X and C to attack. And you can see that it flashes when I do an attack and the meter goes down. When the meter goes all the way down, you know, I, I have a, a, like a delay. It has to regenerate to some degree before I can do it again. That keeps you from spamming the same move over and over again too much. Um, and you, this will be an indicator when I'm pressing a certain key for you as an audience at home. So if, you, if you're interested, keep that in mind. Now you notice that I have a few different abilities. One is melee ability. Only a few characters have this. Not too common, but it is fun to do, definitely. Um, the X key does a, a projectile, and the C one does another projectile. There are a lot of projectiles, but they may have different properties. So for example, with the X, it goes straight at consistent speed. I press C, and it does a missile, but it accelerates. So it's, it's kind of rests in place before it picks up speed. You can kind of see that it's a slow acceleration, but it's a little bit of an acceleration. Um, so then, of course, I move the arrow keys in addition to that, and I essentially can enter doors by pressing the shift key. And, that, and then in each room there's enemies. Um, bigger enemies are worth more points. When I kill a bigger enemy, a smaller, um, more, more, a smaller, less powerful enemy gets put in its place worth less points. I, I kill them, they leave behind loot. Different loot has different properties, but I can essentially use it to boost my score as well. Um, so this, this is a score screen. This is the score I got for doing what I did, right? Um, something else that's interesting to note is that um, different, different loot um, has, when I say it has different properties, like it may be worth a different score. Um, that's the first thing. Also, the, the score actually goes up over time. So if you wait and sort of play chicken so that before it disappears, you wait to the last possible second, you can get more points for it. Um, the duration which they, which, they, which, they, which they stay around is maybe different and uh, you know before they, they sort of disappear. And the rate in which they, they get more valuable, valuable may be different as well. So value goes up over time before, it, before finally disappearing and duration and timing is completely um, different for different uh, sort of things. So now I'm gonna switch to another character, it's called Cricket, he's one of my favorites. So I'm gonna show you the move set of Cricket. Um, Cause he has some interesting things going on for him, right? So uh, yeah, Cricket, uh, I, he's, he's got a, a, a very different move, th move set from what you just saw. So he, he is actually interesting cause he has a uh, slow vertical movement and a really good horizontal movement. So it's, it's, it's important to note how he behaves with, with this kind of speed in mind. Um, that's, that's just, that's just uh, you know, the strategy of choosing a character for a level is sometimes depends on their speed and how quickly they can get around, go through doors, kill enemies, get to new resources. It's, some levels may be better than others for some characters. So now the move set. Z is of course a boomerang sort of weapon. That's a, a good example of how weapons can, uh, can quite, quite very much vary in this game. Um, as far as, uh, as how they behave. Um, X is, is this interesting, it's called, a, I call it an alien tripwire. You'll see how it works kind of. Um, and this thing here, this is what I want to show you for sure. The drop, as a drop item. You see, I can't actually, I, I can't actually go um, over it. It's, it's, it's in front of me, it's solid. So what can happen is I can actually, let me see if I can get this here. What can happen is I can actually, in some cases, sandwich myself into a spot where I can't move. When this happens, I'm gonna let that happen. This happens, I can actually press the space bar to detonate it. This is a good way to get yourself off situations where you might be trapped like that, but it also can be used to lure enemies. If they're not, if they're gonna move out of, if they're in a position where they can't get hit by the weapon when it has a delayed um, attack or whatever it may be, um, you can actually uh, press that button to, uh, to, to uh, you know, detonate it in, in early and get all those enemies that way. Let me just show you how to do this here. That's kind of how this thing works. Um, any part of that, any part of that tripwire that actually can damage the enemy, not not just the not just the tip of it, they run into it. Um, you know when it's uh, 
you know, if they go, go, if they go into it, um, you know, vertically, they can also get hurt. So, uh, so that's, that, you'll see that probably in, in, in action when I post the video of him actually playing a level that happens quite a bit, I do believe. It's kind of interesting. Um, so just pay attention for that if you're very interested in seeing how that works. Uh, so I'm going to continue here. And one more character I want to show you before I go on to more like the enemies. Um, so I'm going to their details. Slug. He, this, now this guy has one attack, or two attacks I want to show you. One is the Gatling gun kind of attack. It's, uh, you see this is actually not a hammer, it's a cannon on a stick, which is kind of funny. Um, but, but you, if I press the X key, nothing happens. See, it flashes, nothing happens. And if I hold down though, it behaves. It actually fires this Gatling gun kind of barrage of, of energy bolts. Um, and you will only see this flash once when that happens. Just know that if you see that particular move is being held down, there are a few moves that are like that in the game. I'm going, going, I'm going to another room to try, try show you what I have next in mind. I'm going to spawn a bunch of enemies here for you. Because this is a test room, I can do that and I know how to do that. So this move is uh, essentially a, a harvester. It, it, it damages enemies and runs into them. Also, if they leave, when they leave behind loot, it automatically grabs it for you. You don't even see the loot be left behind, left behind because it essentially gets it for you. In this particular case, um, it's, particularly, it's particularly useful because it, cause it um, gives you, instead of giving you the exact um, bonus, that you may you may be looking for, um, like you, for example, if you wait long enough for it to go off in value, you will get more points. They do it soon, you get less points. You know, like I said earlier. So what this basically does is it um, ensures that you get a, a flat rate value for, for, as a pickup. Like it, it's not maybe the top amount, but maybe the second greatest, um, you know, value in a pickup. So you can kind of have more control over how many points you get by using that, which is kind of neat. So um, the time's running out, so the battle's almost done, and my score, of course, at the end of that timer, timer running out is what I have. That's the point to get a high score. Should have said that at the beginning, but I think that's kind of, you can kind of see that by now. Um, I'm just going to show you the enemies. I'm going to choose another character that I can use to sort of, dis sort of display that. Um, who should I play? Um, I'm going to do... I'm going to do uh, Carbon, because he has some interesting moves. I want to show this to you as well. Um, he ha he essentially uses a lot of trap weapons, you know, um, he leaves traps that essentially shoot uh, corrosive gas out and they, uh, it's, it, it's kind of interesting. He, he uses basically these interesting traps. He also leaks um, damaging gas out behind him as he goes. He's technically a cheater in that sense, but whatever. So I'm going to go to a certain stage. So first, you've seen these guys already, right? So um, I, I'm just going to let him, let him stay here for a second. Now watch what happens. I, I wait, wait here for a second. See, so notice he got bigger. Keep him in view. Got bigger again. See, see what happens with some enemies is they actually um, level up over time. They get gain greater, greater level, level over time, which is kind of neat. Um, uh, you know, uh, very neat actually in some way. Um, so that 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 can be a way because bigger enemies are worth more. Higher level enemies are worth more. This means that sparing the enemies for a while um, and sort of sort of uh, farming with them, if you want to put, think of it that way, and then killing them later after, after you get as much out of them you can, can be beneficial if you do it right. Um, you know, that's kind of an uh, interesting uh, little tidbit to, to note. Um, uh, now I'm going to go back, go to another enemy. Now this this one this one is a little t more difficult to express. So I'm just going to put a bunch of enemies out here. Notice the big enemies. Um, they actually leave behind loot. Um, See all, all over the place. Well, I'm gonna see if I can show this to you here. Um, the, the they go. They, these guys move a little different. You see that the, the small enemies actually consume the loot. Um, so the bigger enemies leave behind loot. The smaller enemies will actually will actually get, if, they, if they get to it first, they can steal it from you. They can actually steal that 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 valuable um you know loot from you. Uh, it's hard, kind of hard to see in this footage because it's so crowded. But you, you, if you look carefully, you can kind of see that happening. So you want to get to that loot first before those tiny enemies get to it, and the bigger enemies leave it behind. Uh, so that's another way in which enemies may behave a little bit differently. Um, the last group of enemies I want to show you, um, I'm going to choose, uh, choose Exile. Justin made this character, by the way. Uh, Exile, Rook, um, Chimera, and Dr. Spineapple are actually courtesy of Justin and Zach who worked on those characters. I should probably point that out. Those are not my um, things. Those are, um, you know, somebody else's. I don't know how I end up in this room. Let's see here. 
Um, so I'm gonna let me think here. Uh, which one is it? I think six. I have, to, I have to press a special key and combination to get to different rooms in this test room when I go through that door. It's kind of interesting how it works. This is here. The enemy actually levels up too, but it, the level is signified by the um, the, the, the sort of the logo on on the front. So uh, you can kind of see these logos look kind of familiar. They might. That's because this is the level 99 team logo. FMD for flexible cool design, and my secondary logo for flexible cool design. My my personal sort of design freelance business is just kind of an Easter egg. This is these are like I call them sponsor bots because they have logos that correlate to you know level 99 team and its members in some way, shape, or form, even if just subtly. So you can kind of see how how they um how they they they, they switch they cycle through their logos, and that means a different level. The yellow um, level 99 team is, is worth the most. Then flexible cool design logos, and then of course so on and so forth. Um, here's not, and then I love this attack that Exile has. It's a skull that goes around and you know, um, you know, sort of uh, uh, shoots around all over the place. Kind of neat. You can you can do some make some cool damage with this thing. Um, it's really neat. Anyway, that's I think all I have to say for this tutorial. You can see other variations of when I actually, uh, you know. Um, you know, play the game, you'll see a, a little bit more diversity than I just showed you, but this should be a summary of, of uh, introduction to everything that you'll see in the game, for the most part. Um, so, uh, I think that's all I have for you today. So, take care and stay tuned for the, the actual videos of the, the, the levels, not just the test room, like the actual, you know, gameplay. Stay tuned, it's cool stuff. I, I, that, that, that I'm gonna promise. It's very, it's, it's, it's generally amusing to watch, so. Yep.